yourself think about legacy at all? How you want to be remembered? How your body of work? How do you want? Really. You know, I you know, I mean, people ask you questions like, how do you want to be? And you're forced to think about it. Otherwise, I don't think. You know, I definitely don't walk around going, God, I want to be remembered for this and that and the other. I don't think you really get to choose that anyway. Brother, what you don't know is I'm a rocker and a roller and a little funky too. See, nobody, nobody, nobody knows, knows about, that, about yeah. your bass playing, right? And that's yeah. why we... Nobody, 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 that's weird. nobody knows, man. The responsible guy that, to bring the death of the emo haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I did bring the death of the emo haircut, uh, and I'm very happy about that, but I've never gotten more hate mail in my life than cutting off Pete Wentz's hair, that's for sure. So what's the biggest kind of misunderstanding that people have about you? What do you think that, that people would be surprised to know? I don't know, you just got to get up on me and see, man. I mean, I think the misconception is gone now. I used to have it, you know, when, when I first came out, but people have grown to know me and grown to love me over the years, so it's really no misconception. Everybody know how I get in. I can never... I could never figure out what Jim would have done or, or what he would have thought about something. You know, he he would always think the opposite of what you think he would think. I don't have an app pod. All I have is answer service at my house. I don't know how to do a computer. I don't have an email, t mail, text mail. I don't know, you know. Did you but I do like music. I love music. Ooh. Did you ever play an instrument growing up, T? Uh, no, I used to, um, used to, uh, nah. Anybody left as far as collaborations go that you kind of stay up at night thinking, you know what? I, Jimmy I was Page. Legacy at all, Jimmy? What does legacy mean to you? Do you mean, what do you, well, the legacy as far as my work goes? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you exactly what it means to me. Um, it's very apparent in this, in this documentary. I start talking about the early influences that I had and how I learned from, from uh, what I first accessed, which was rock and roll in the 50s. And, and um, what they call skiffle in England, which is just jazzed up lead belly, really. Any dad is the greatest. I, I highly recommend it. I'm trying. I recommend it. I'm trying. That's my wife filming. That's your wife? It's the greatest thing ever. I mean, life is very interesting and exciting and painful and challenging. And then you have a kid, and that's like when your real life begins. Once you're gone, it's highly overrated. No, I want flowers and a mausoleum. I thought you'd be more spiritual than this, Gene. I have to say. <laughs> no, I think the spirituality. You think that Gene was the spiritual. Jesus. I love you. Since we're a music side about how the music for the graduate was chosen at all. Yes, yeah, so I can tell you very quickly because I go to the doctor. What's um, Thanksgiving like for uh, the Navarros? It's weird, man. We all get together on that afternoon, early evening, and uh, we we actually sit at a table. Okay. And. Uh, eat turkey and stuff. I think I was seven or eight. Wow. Yeah. And I remember telling my dad over and over and over again, I want to be Peter Frampton. Mm. Wow. And so he used to make fun of me in front of his friends. Like, here's my son, Peter Frampton. Har, har, har. Is there like a, a marathon mix? Yeah, I have a marathon mix. It's eclectic. It's Rage Against the Machine, Radiohead, Beyonce saved my life for really? the last six miles. Wow. Her survivor song. I just kept, <laughs> I just kept <laughs> getting repeat. So I would say if you like to play music, you just get a band and get as many friends that play mu music as you can get around. Go in your garage or wherever you're going to do it and and just play any advice that you would give any up-and-coming singer songwriters that want to try to get into this business nowadays I have no idea how one goes about becoming a, a professional musician these days it seems like a totally different business now than than when Weezer started out in 92 back in the day it was all about just playing shows in the local clubs and passing your demo tape around and eventually somebody's gonna hear you and you're gonna you're gonna get a shot I don't know how you do it now. And they didn't know me from Night Rider or Baywatch or SpongeBob. They knew me as a guy who sang about freedom. The still music affects me. I was listening to a friend of mine doing an intervention on him, and I was listening to the Frey song uh, about an intervention. Step one, da, 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 and it was just such a beautiful song. And so I, I called the guys that are doing it. I said, "Listen to that song right before you go into the room, because that's really what it is about, you know." <laughs> the writing process for you are you like a wake up in the morning writer you just write when inspiration strikes I can answer this really quickly for you because I already figured out my system just yesterday okay. when I was talking to the band about it I've realized that daytime is for writing music because I'm in a more of a energetic mood and I'm aggressive and lyrics for me are always on the darker side when I'm mellow and I just want to reflect and things like that and get my thoughts out on paper so 
Yeah, nighttime is for lyrics and daytime is for music. Uh, was there a particular concert growing up that was pivotal to your upbringing that you can point to? Anything that comes to mind? A particular concert. Our fans want to know a little bit about the the Bush rumors. So what's going on with that? Is there going to be a new album? Is there going to be a new tour? Uh, I hope so. I'm just seeing out the solo thing and then see how that goes. And as far as the whole rumors about it, well, I think I'm the one that started them. So there you go. It was really learning a language. It was at times frustrating for him, I'm sure, to some extent for myself to articulate. I don't. I'm not really into like routines or superstitions. I mean, I usually try to warm up a little bit. Um, which just means singing through some songs um, in the bathroom where it's echoey. What is, how does Slash feel about the, the new GNR record? He feels great, you know, it's uh, long awaited and... Has he, has he heard it? Yes. And his impressions? This isn't going anywhere, this isn't, you know, oh, this, this will not be online so you can be as honest as can be. Well, our kids like it, okay. so... <laughs> But they also like Elmo. I'm working really hard, so I'm going to have some new real music videos, and I'm very excited, and some new music, new producers. She's not saying the one I directed wasn't real, by the way. Well, that's debatable. Book, but... After, because I, I was literally blindsided by it, and there was, there was a, you know, a, a few days where I felt like roadkill. Mm. But um, <laughs> the, these two very lovely twins walked into my life, and... Uh, <laughs> And nothing's been the same since. Yeah, we were all in our garage or our basement <laughs> making songs. It was never about anything more than just wanting to to escape where we were from. And I like pop music, like Britney, Spears, Britney Spears and <laughs> stuff like that. Do you have an iPod by chance, Larry? No. You don't? So what, no. do you listen to old 45 still, or what are you listening to? I listen to the radio, you know, and I listen to Sinatra. I'm still living in Sinatra's age. There's never going to be another Sinatra. Never. I'm curious to know what you used to listen to before the big games. Anything in particular? Uh, you know, my favorite Thelonious Monk, John Coltrane, Herbie Hancock, Chick Corea, Miles Davis. You know, I'm a classic jazz guy. So what's more difficult, acting or being a musician? Uh, acting. Why? In what sense? Uh, well, certainly for me, the discipline that it requires. You know, it's like if I was a musician, I would have showed up late tonight, or maybe not shown up at all. Right, right. And it would have been perfectly fine. 